Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. But right now I want to talk about the Git Log. And the Git Log reminds me of one of my favorite Canadian bands, the Northern Pikes, because they got a song called She Ain't Pretty. And I'm telling you that Git Log ain't pretty. But you can change that, and you can change it with a pretty command. And that's what I want to talk about here, the Git Log pretty command. So here's my... GitLab repository, you can see I've got a, a number of commits in the history here, and I can even take a look at the graph, and you can see that, yeah, I've got a couple of different branches in the mix right here. And so a lot of times you wanna be able to take a look at this in the terminal, and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do here, and also use the pretty command to, I don't know, to liven it up a little bit. So to start, I need to clone that repository. So if you're using GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, there's always a clone with HTTP link there where you just clone the actual URL to the repository, where you copy that URL, then you open up the terminal and you do a git clone command and you just paste that in. There we go. And it's going to give us our whole entire git repository. And of course it's put into a subfolder, GitLab made easy. So I need to move in there. And now Bob's your uncle, we can start doing some work here. And the first thing I probably want to do is just do a git log command. And this ain't pretty. Um, you know, it's just, I don't like going through this log command. And so there's a bunch of different options for going through the log command. And uh, one of them is just git log pretty equals one line. And you got to spell pretty correctly. And if you do this, you know, I like that output. It looks a lot nicer to me. It looks a lot like git ref log, actually. Uh, git ref log won't show much because it's only your local commits, whereas log is your public commits. But, you know, git ref log, it just comes in one line. It doesn't have that kind of full printout. So I like that command, uh, git log uh, pretty equals one line. Now, by the way, you can also do just dash dash one line. So that's an option here. Yeah, you notice actually it's not exactly the same. It actually puts in a short commit. So it uh, changes it a little bit. And I actually like that better. I, just, I mean, I just, yeah, I guess you need the commit, the hash for the commit from time to time, but um, not every time. So there you go. That that's kind of gives you the some of the options, some of the way that you can look at your log. Um, by the way, the other way I like to look, I've, I've got a couple of other pretty options here, but you know, another way I like to look at the log too is by using the, the graph option and then saying pretty equals one line. And there you can see you get not only the one line, but you also get a pretty graph here. And I think that looks pretty cool. You can see there's my master branch, there's my fun feature branch merges into the development branch that goes into master, but there was also a, a hot fix that came out before that merge. And then it was merged in after that merge. I like that. It's uh, pretty interesting there. Now, having said that, there's a couple of other ways you can pretty up your log. The most advanced one, I mean, there's, there's basic ones, like there's git log dash dash pretty equals short. And that just, I mean, it looks like the normal git log, but it doesn't have as much information in it. There is, well, there's short, there's medium, there is full. Uh, what's the difference between full and medium? I'm not too sure. There's the full. So I guess that's got the commit and author in there. I guess the medium didn't. Yeah, author and date um, for the medium, author commit. That's that's for the full. There's even a full er. <laughs> you can get a little bit more information there. Um, I think there's reference and reference can tell you what the reference to the previous commit was. Oh, you can even get the email. The one that I like is the custom. And that's email. The one that I like is the actual custom pretty that you can do. I'm going to do that in just a moment, but I'm going to go through. There's raw. You know, raw kind of gives you the long uh, hash IDs of the the tree, the parent. Uh, gives you the author. That one's kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure how much you'll use it, um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, actually, one of the Git log commands I haven't talked about is relative date which is kind of cool, which tells you how long ago it was uh, committed. But 
I don't know. Uh, but that's actually not pretty. I'm supposed to stick to pretty here. Now, usually when people talk about pretty, what they want is they want a command like this. And I'm going to put it in, I'm going to run it, and then I'm going to explain it and run it again. But it's git log. Here I'm using the graph option. Maybe I shouldn't, but I am. And you say dash dash pretty. And then you can really control what you want to display. So you say in yellow, I want the word hash to come up, and then I want to print the small hash. Then I want in blue the date and the commit date. Then in red, I want what the, the message is. I want it all in human readable format. I'll click return there. And I'm just going to run through that command. You know what? I'm going to take graph off. No need to complicate things right now. I like using the graph, but let's just concentrate with the pretty. Okay, let me just explain that command here. So with this command, we're now passing in a custom string. And this is going to define exactly how it displays, rather than just going with short, raw, email reference, full, fuller. What we're saying here is, I want the git log, I'm going to use the pretty command, and this is the string that I'm going to use. So first of all, percentage C yellow, I want the word hash to show up, and then a small hash. So you see that? Yellow, small hash. Then I want in blue, date colon, and then the date. And there we go. Date colon, and then the date. And then I want to display in red, percentage C red, message colon, and then the actual commit message. And you get that there. And dash dash date equals human is just, you know, hey, it's Thursday, July 23rd. Is short one of the options? Yeah, you can see with short, it's just, you know, 2020 like that. But there you go. That's kind of how you can do the string. And if you look at the documentation, you can do other stuff. I mean, you can have the email address. You can have the long hash. You can have um, uh, all of the different details for the commit, the parent reference, the all of that stuff. So. You could really customize it, and you know I'll allow you to roll your own. I won't go through every uh, permutation of that, but you know I think that gives you a pretty good idea. So there you go. That's an overview of the Git log and specifically how you can make things look really handsome with the pretty command. And so there you go. Those are the ins and outs of the pretty command for the Git log. If you want to learn more, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. And we talk all sorts of Git, GitHub, GitLab, DevOps, software development, you name it. Um, also, if you're interested in my antics, head over to Twitter. Follow me, Cameron MCNZ. And uh, if uh, you're into Canadian music, uh, listen to She Ain't Pretty. Grab an old Northern Pikes album. I think you'll enjoy it. I know I love it.